Welcome to another edition of The Beat on the Street. Here on the streets of Israel, I'm at the central bus station in Jerusalem, and we're going to check out what Israelis think about the fact that we have to go to new elections and if the outcome will be any different. So let's hear what they have to say. I, I think it's terrible. I don't see why they couldn't figure things out without having to have second elections. If in a parliamentary government, if you don't achieve a coalition, you have to bring it back to the people. And in this case, the second elections will reinforce the outcome of the first elections. And a few mistakes that were made by two parties, Fagelin and uh, Bennett, they needed to guarantee themselves not losing their votes. And people, a lot of my Russian friends are very upset with Lieberman. And the Likud will win greater. It'll be a greater mandate for our prime minister. So can you tell me? The small is going down. The Yamin is going up in 6-7. Six, 67. I think there is no change and I'm not gonna take a part of it. I love it, I love it. I think Likud will be very, very powerful. United Torah Judaism will be very powerful. Might become, go into nine uh, mandates, you say in English? Nine, nine electorates. Shas might go down in one seat. And the best will be if uh, Yvette Lieberman won't would, pass, won't get enough uh, seats. And also the left will be a bit weaker because of that. I believe about 70, 72 uh, to the right, and the rest will be leftist, Arab. I have a theory, a conspiracy, that could be Lieberman and Netanyahu did it on purpose. Or Netanyahu insulted Lieberman on purpose, because he doesn't want to join the, the peace uh, suggestion of uh, Trump. And now everything is delayed after the elections. So it could be it's on purpose. Politicians should be serving the country and the politicians are serving themselves. I hope so. That there will be a different outcome and that the ones causing these new elections will be punished. I think we will get stronger. I think Bibi will get stronger and we really hope he will because he's great, great government. We have a lot of I'm grateful for what he did for uh, the Israeli nation. I'm very sorry for the Israeli because they lose much money. I think they should have um, made something else with this money they use for the second election. Pretty much a disaster. Uh, I hope things will turn out to the best. It's obviously not a good sign. I mean, the government's kind of falling apart. And um, I just hope this time it'll be a more steady the thing is that everybody was kind of, like a lot of people say they're against something and then like it happens. It's kind of the same like what happened in the States, I think. But. Hi, so I'm not happy that we have to go to elections for a second time, simply because it's a real waste of resources, budgets. Now that we're having these elections, I'm happy. Why? Because we did not really get on the right a true mandate. It was very mixed. And, and there was a number of reasons for it. What happened with the Fagelin party, what was happening with uh, Naftali Bennett, and I'm really hoping we'll get a lot more clarity, uh, and what Lieberman, of course, did, we'll get a lot more clarity in this election to really support sovereignty and the uh, indigenous rights of the Jewish people in the state of Israel.